Ming by Kenneth and I'm a national board prize winner in 2009 who supported on my two sons, Callum and Cormac. Uh, the, the pool where my two sons are photographed in is a place I never really liked. You walk in there, it's like walking into this chlor chlor chloride filled dungeon, hot and steam. I never, and the kids used to love it, so we used to have to sit there for hours and end, so it was my favourite place to be. And I just came up from the bigger pool myself and, and, and walked into this kind of moment where the boys had been playing around with the foam in the spa section and they had flippers on. I don't know what game they were into, and I said, look, I instantly knew that this is, this is brilliant. Either I walk into a space, like, like with the kids, they were in it, but in any other situation, you walk in and it's like it's a beautiful frame. Normally it's the lo location that gets me going, but occasionally it's just, oh, this person's just wonderful, you know, and then I'm looking around and trying to work out where that portrait can work within that moment of having met that person. Yeah, so, so the importance of price. I entered a lot of prices uh, myself, photographic prices, and uh, put it in there, otherwise you can't win, that's for sure. <laughs> I remember the feeling though, like, it, but it was like Chris Chapman called me up and say, so, it was almost like he expected me to know. Like the way he delivered it was like, yeah, so you won the portrait prize, as in, uh, let's just for formalize this now and come down to camera and pick it up. It's like, it felt like I, he, he, he thought I should have known. To be accepted is kind of, I think that's kind of, generally you should feel kind of really good about that. Just to be part of the community that sort of represent the portrait prize, or the portrait work in, in that particular calendar year, it's, it's a great achievement, I think. And, have one of them acknowledged, felt like an acknowledgement for the whole process, I think, over those years. And um, oh, it was like a, a nice fit for me, that it was of the two boys, and we could all be there to share it, really. Since the price, I've just continued taking more portraits uh, uh, and using my, my strict parameters. And, and you know, I just keep doing what I do. I don't change to what's in fashion or in vogue. I just keep doing what I do. So that was the biggest thing, allow me to I think just uh, give me confidence to keep going on a journey that I want to continue being on. My name is Jacqueline Mittelman. I won the National Photographic Portrait Prize in 2011 with my portrait of Susie Alessandra. She just has a fabulous face and a lot of experience written on it. She came dressed like that, but I really liked it. I thought it looked, you know, it looked very renaissance -y to me. And I, because she's half Italian, I thought that, you know, she looked very renaissance -y too, I suppose. Um, that was taken with natural light um, in the studio I used to have. I remember after I'd chosen that one, and I was going to put it in the portrait prize and I got it framed and I went to the other side of the studio and looked at it and I thought, it reads, it reads from, <laughs> from the other side of the studio. The hardest thing is, is to actually get somebody as they are, in a way, you know, because people are uncomfortable. If you get through that discomfort and they're looking very directly at you, the viewer should feel that they're looking Why do I think the prizes are important? Well, it's a way of, of seeing your work again, sort of contemporaries, more or less, or people who are working, and it's lovely to have the recognition. I think whenever you put something in a competition, there's a part of you that, till the last moment, hopes that it's going to get in, or that, that other people will see in it what you saw. Now they don't always, but with the Susie picture, I felt there was something really right about it. I just, I just really loved it and it didn't fade for me. You know, there's some photographs you take in your life and you sort of fall in love with them for a short period of time. And then a couple of years later, they don't look quite as interesting. The ones that endure are the ones that always look good to you. So the Susie picture was one that always looked good.
with me. Mon nom c'est Roderick McNicol. Okay, yeah, look, two years ago, two years ago, three years ago now, I won the National Photographic Portrait Prize with you. It's my portrait of Jack Charles. Jack, I've known for quite a long time. We knew each other initially as act, fellow actors at the Prime Factory. And I photographed him at different times over the last 20 odd years. Jack is an actor, but I'm not going to get Jack to stand in front of me and perform. I really want to have this quiet look at the human being I have in front of me. Aisle 8 in Safeway Supermarket. That's where I got the phone call. <laughs> and whoever it was, well, let's say it was Joe, said, are you coming up for the opening? of coming up for the opening. And Joe said, well, you should. And I thought, I'm not going to let you off the hook. <laughs> Why should I come up? And she said, I've won the prize. So that made for a very different trip to the supermarket. Look, winning a prize like that is pretty monumental. It came at a really fortuitous time for me. I could then take a bit of space in my life and moved towards having what was to be a major survey show of my work that was to come at Monash Gallery of Art, part of which was picked up by the National Portrait Gallery. I think it's really important that we do have things like the National Photographic Portrait Prize, because if we, if we don't have examples like that, we're going to get swamped a little bit by a sea of images that leave us mildly interested for a few seconds and then they get swamped by the next lot coming through and nothing is going to have much resonance. So I think it's important that we still have some pursuit of excellence in image making and the National Portrait Prize provide a venue for people who are, who are seeking to be passionate about their use of a particular medium. So my name is Chanel Lowe and I won the National Photographic Portrait Prize in 2013 with my portrait of Yuani and in Indiana. I feel comfortable saying that prior to winning the, the prize, I, I was basically nobody, you know, I was, I was completely obscure. I was just doing my own thing. And after winning and the crazy media frenzy basically that happened afterwards, uh, I was getting recognised on the street. <laughs> I started working with Yuani through Diane Tanza Gallery and she approached me one night and just said, look, my, my cat has been really unwell and she's been at the vet and I don't think she has long to go, so could you come around and take a portrait of us together before, you know, before it's too late? I love portraiture and I like to capture a person in sort of a moment of time. And I like that portrait to have a real sense of that person and, and of our interaction together as well. So the day that I found out that I'd won, I was actually getting ready to come up to Canberra. I generally treat myself to about one haircut a year. The rest of the time I do it myself. So I was up the road last minute. I was like, no, I should look nice. I should look nice. The Prime Minister's going to be there. I should look nice. And I was having my hair washed and I got the phone call and I was just sort of I was like, I don't know what this number is. I'll, I'll answer it just in case. And I started crying <laughs> pretty much straight away into the basin. And the woman washing my hair was just like, are you okay? And she's like, did I get shampoo in your eyes? I'm like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I just found out that I, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's really hard to actually describe fully how much of an impact this has had on my life. It basically changed it completely. And 
and you just need to keep that in mind every day and just kind of go, no, this is, don't stop because you're tired or whatever it is, like you just, you just have to keep doing it because you enjoy it. You could be doing so many other things right now. You could be working in a, you can still be selling games. <laughs> at EP Games. I could be still working in the back of a bakery, you know, just not enjoying myself, but this is what I get to do now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going at it and try not to stop. My name's Andrew Cowan. I won the National Photographic Portrait Prize in 2014 which was a portrait of a friend of mine whose name's Matthew Martin. I've been doing this a little while now and you know, I've only become more interested in, in the things that you can think about and achieve and explore by making pictures. There's still plenty of legs in a decent portrait, a strong portrait. Matthew Martin is a friend of mine. He's a really lovely guy and he came to visit me in the studio one day where we are right now and we were having a conversation. While that was happening I made a series of pictures of him. There were you know a few good ones in there and there was that one in particular which was just a very strong picture. Winning that prize is a pretty big thing in Australia because it kind of has a great profile that has, you know, it's this recognition that the work that you're making is actually kind of at a pretty high level. You know, it's winning that prize validates that mode of work that you're doing and it enables you, it gives you a little bit of freedom to continue down that road. Making things costs money and generally speaking you're not you don't make that money back ever, even if you sell work or if you make a book and you sell books. You know, you, your motivation is not to make money, it's just you want to make something. So the, the money in that, the prize money in that certainly helps in that regard. I mean, it's always have, nice to have a little cash injection like that. Who doesn't want that? Got spent pretty quick, that's for sure. The advice I would give to someone who was thinking about entering the prize but they weren't confident about it would just be to do it. You have to strive in what you're doing and by even by entering a prize, even if you're just sending something via email, you're thinking about is this work up to scratch? If not, what can I do to make it better or more powerful or whatever it needs to be to be hitting that note? That in itself is a, a process of learning and even if that's the only thing you learnt by entering that prize it would be worth doing. Winning 25 grand is pretty cool too. Hi, my name is Hoda Afsha. I won National Photographic Portrait Prize in 2015 with the portrait of Ali. I work across different genres. No matter how hard I try to focus on other things, I, I get back to photographing people and making portraits. In 2014, I went back to Iran to make a photographic series, documentary series, about the country that I used to call home. A friend of mine told me about this village that exists above the clouds. And we stayed there for four days. And one of the days that I was walking around making pictures, I heard the sound of a flock of sheep. And I saw him standing in the middle of that rocky mountain. And I asked if I can take your photo, and he just stared at me. He offered me some little berries in his hands and then all he said was aluche aluche which means little berries. Right in that moment when I took the photo I knew that I captured something special. The day that I received a phone call, oh gosh, I'll never forget that moment. My heart was like, whew. For a few 
seconds I couldn't breathe from excitement. For me, it's always been a huge passion and winning a prize like that, it's quite encouraging, exciting and makes you believe that what you're doing is right. Being a migrant and having a work in National Portrait Prize exhibition is somehow a way of feeling that you know you're a part of the nation as well, you're accepted here. The prize itself, you know, I'm amazed with the kind of recognition that you get from it and also, you know, it just brings your work into the attention of a large audience and I think, you know, when you win a prize like this, people start looking you up. It's a new chapter, suddenly you feel like, oh, okay, new chapter in my career started. 